All right. Hi, everyone. Today we're live at the home of Kelsey and Erin Martin. For those of you who don't know, I'm Larray Pearson, the communications girl for the Return to Rural project. Return to Rural is an initiative that encourages young people to move back to Alberta's special areas, raise their families, and start businesses. So I'm going to turn it around to Kelsey here. And if at any point during this interview you have a question, go ahead and type in the comments below and I will direct it to Kelsey. All right, here we go. Say hello, Kelsey. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Great, thanks. How are you? Good. So, Kelsey, you are now, we're in Hannah today. So, um, can you tell me actually how you, you got to Hannah in the first place? Where are you from to begin with? So, I actually grew up in southern Saskatchewan, as did my wife, and we spent five years working out there. Mm -hmm. And then I worked in the mining industry as a geologist and had a chance to move out to Hannah. So actually the same day we told our parents we were moving to Hannah, we also told them that they were expecting their first grandkid, but after a little wow. while they started talking to us again. <laughs> and uh, we've been out here for just over five years. Okay, awesome. So you were out here for five years, and recently, um, if we zoom in on your shirt here, I see that you're wearing your brand, Mar <laughs> Martin Remote Sensing Corporation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So essentially what we do is provide aerial surveying to a variety of industries, the gravel and aggregate industries, the agriculture industries, as well as real estate and even some video promotion type work. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about that? So essentially what we do is we provide a uh, faster, safer, and low-cost alternative to traditional GPS surveying for gravel pits. Awesome. We also do some gravel exploration with my background in geology. And for farmers what we can do is help them with aerial surveying topography mapping, plant health mapping. So what might be a big value to a farmer, for example, is finding the optimal placement for a dugout mm -hmm. or building a drainage plan for their land to get rid of sloughs and, and essentially farm more of the land that they own. Awesome. And before when I was talking, um, you had mentioned that when you do this for farmers, you can actually see how much of the land is usable. Or... Right. So, so we also do seeded acreage mapping and uh, the plant health mapping that I touched on. Mm -hmm. So say for example you have a hailstorm come through and you want some data before the hail insurance company comes out, we can give you a quantitative analysis of what has been damaged so that you make better use of your time and you're sure that you're getting what you need out of that insurance company. Essentially for agriculture we're almost a third party engineering company that's available to help them out. Okay, and what's keeping you busy right now? Lately, it's been the gravel and aggregate industry. As year ends coming, a lot of RMs, MDs, counties have to do gravel pit surveying for year end inventory, so we're doing lots of that. And really just trying to rush before the snow hits because that will be slowing us down. Awesome. So, what made you guys decide to start your business here? Well, essentially, as a young professional, we uh, are almost expected every four or five years we have to move. And, the, the move out of Hannah would have been much more different and much more difficult with two young kids in the move to Hannah. Essentially, we had to sit down and decide whether we wanted to chase my career mm -hmm. to wherever that may take us or sit down and do something different in Hannah. So my wife, Farron, and I sat down and talked about if we were to start a business in Hannah, what would it be? Mm -hmm. And my background, we had worked in, in aerial surveying a small amount and then with an agriculture background growing up on a farm, to me it was almost my past mm -hmm. converging and, and really this made perfect sense so ultimately we had to talk to some people that were unbiased and we put together some business plans and had some pretty good pretty good remarks from that and people said you know i think you have something here but why hannah and i said well really we wouldn't want to do it anywhere else you know uh, a downtown city location gets very expensive there's a lot of overhead and ultimately we've met a lot of great people here and we wanted to stay in an agriculture and rural area mm -hmm. so that was the way for us to stay in Hannah long term and raise our kids was to start a business. Awesome. And Erin, she works over at the hospital. Yes, Erin's an x-ray tech at the hospital. Awesome. And you guys have two kids. Two boys, yes. Two boys. And what are their names? Kaylin is four and a half and Connor's one and a half. Okay, great. So you're raising your family, starting a business here. Absolutely. Touched on the business. Again, if anybody's watching and you have any questions, be sure to type them in below and I'll ask Kelsey. So, Kelsey, what is your favorite, favorite part about living here? I think for us, it's the sense of community. You know, the first week I was here, Aaron hadn't yet moved out. Um, I was invited for supper two days after to the neighbors, and I felt very welcomed very fast. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't 
moving from a city to a small town. I grew up in a town of 400 people, and it still felt extremely welcoming here, even compared to other towns we've lived in. Um, you know, our son broke his leg on Sunday, and he's had visitors every single day, and he's had as many gifts as he normally gets at Christmas. <laughs> it really is a testament yeah. to how the community groups together. It, it's been just amazing for us. And why would we want to raise our kids anywhere else? Mm -hmm. And we had mentioned before that you guys actually had no ties here when you moved, and that you that you loved it so much you had to stay. So um, you, you mentioned that's why you loved staying here. Are there any tips that you can offer for someone wanting to start a business in a rural area? I think a few, and really they're not my original thoughts by any means. They're from other business owners telling me and giving me some advice. One was remember the three Ps. Be patient, be positive, and ultimately be present. And in a small town, I think that's a lot easier to do than a downtown city type of environment. What I like about a rural environment is you can talk business and you can talk amongst friends, whether it's at the kitchen table having coffee, the curling rink, or an office environment. There are no boundaries to having discussions. It's more social. Mm -hmm. I really do like that. Mm, those are great, great words of advice there. Okay, awesome. Did you want to tell us a little bit more? Show us some maps over here? Of, sure, of yeah, let's have a look at some gravel exploration. That we've sure. So the traditional methods to do gravel pit surveys are using GPS. Mm -hmm. And what we do is it's all aerial surveying. I'll just use the cottage cheese sure. out of the way. Essentially what <laughs> we do is we use drones to do aerial surveying. Yeah. And what it does is it takes the operator away from, from dangerous areas such as active faces. Mm -hmm. And the drone is 80 meters in the air to do it. Okay. It takes about half the time. And we actually worked with some engineering companies over the summer to do a case study comparing the accuracy of our mm -hmm. method to traditional methods. And our volumes were within 3%. Okay. So uh, we're quite excited about that. Okay. Awesome. So let's take a bit of a closer look. So can you just give us a quick summary of what this... Sure. So this is a gravel pit in southern Saskatchewan. There's six piles. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is essentially give a high resolution air photo, which is great for planning, you mm -hmm. know, for those operators to say we want this pit gone or this pile gone, as well as the volumes. This one here is essentially the same thing, just showing the elevation contours. Mm -hmm. And finally, this one here is just like a 3D view after we've processed it through our software. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. And for those of those of anyone who doesn't actually know what a drone is, essentially it's is. It's essentially we we've got two different types of drone. We've got a, a fixed wing drone, and it can survey at least a thousand acres a day. Oh. And then we've also got a copter drone for doing more of the high precision GPS surveying. Okay, cool. So yeah. So basically, a drone goes up in the air and it takes pictures. Yes. Awesome. And. Um, the, Lori Armstrong comments, that's interesting. I had no idea what Martin Remote Sensing does. <laughs> well, thanks, Lori. <laughs> yeah. So if, you were, so if you were to give the quick description of what Mar remote, Mar sen Martin Remote Sensing does, like really quickly, what would it be? Essentially, aerial surveying for a variety of industries, helping aggregate operators and farmers save money, save time, and be safer. Awesome. Uh, any tips on someone wanting to integrate into a rural community? Just be present. I think that last P in that three P's is huge to me. And whether that's down at the curling rink, playing hockey, going out for lunch, just get out of your house. We have long winters here and the last thing you want to do is be stuck in your house. And you totally. can meet some great people just by walking out the door. Awesome. Anything else that you want to see? I think sure. that pretty much covers it. Thanks so much for the opportunity. I think Return to Rural is a fantastic program and it's something that I haven't seen in other communities we've lived in and I see only positives from it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kelsey. Um, where can we learn more? That's you can go to our website, www.martinremotesensing.com. We also have a Facebook page. It's quite active. Or you can give me a call at 403-857-9679. Awesome. Thanks, Kelsey. Say goodbye. Thanks. Have a good weekend, everyone. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And we have our next live video tomorrow at 4 p.m. Tune in to see who the next Return to Rural success story is.